So I can apply it. Yeah? So watch this now. When you're, when you're standing there, you're going to be in school, for instance. What's your profession? Student. You're a student. To learn. That's what you're doing, right? But watch this. What about this one? What's your personal, what's your personal things that you've got going on? Children. Your children. <laughs> so when you go to school, watch this. You go into the English class. What do you go to learn? English. English. When you go to maths, what do you go to learn? Maths. And when you go to uh, technology, what do you go to learn? Technology. Now, how many times do you go in there to learn maths, English, technology, but you're doing that and you're chatting to your friend about what went on the day before? Or you do you do that a lot of time? Yeah. Well, you're mixing your agendas. That, that's all you can't do that. You, you're mixing your agenda. You mix, get mixed up. Because when you're on it, you're supposed to be doing what you're there being, what your profession is. And watch this, in a sense, you're being paid by the tax cycle. Your learning is your earning. Does this make sense? Yeah. Your learning is your earning. So watch this now. You're going to go into an interface to talk to somebody. You bring with you your history of who and what you are. That's your personal history. Your small one. How old you are? How, many, how old are you now? So the youngest ones are still 11? How many the youngest ones in here? You're 17. So what's this? 11 to 17. So you've been on 11 journeys around the planet, around the sun, sorry. You've been on 17. I've been on 50. I've been around 50 times. Yeah, I'm 50 years old, yes. I'm just immature. Yes. <laughs> so what goes on? Your history and your cultural capital will come in and you bring with you your colour, your culture, your class, your character into the context of where you are and you have a sense of status. Whether you belong there or not. Say for instance, I know, I know a lot of you girls in here now, do, do you wear your ties in school? Do you wear girls wear ties in this school? No. No. One day, one day. If you want to. Yeah. Do you know what the tie represents? No. no. Who's going to lend me their tie? Do you want me a tie? Let me your tie, please. Oh, you don't have it on, that's, that's, that's cool. You got it in the bag? Let's see, let's see. Oh, is it? Can you, can you lend me a tie? I don't want to take mine, I'll take it too long. I've got this one. I've got this one in. Thank you. Sorry, man. <laughs> what, what animal is this? A zebra. What animal is it? What creature is it? You go, I like the way you're thinking, you know, oh, cotton, cotton. No, cotton don't come from sheep. No, come from sheep. Oh, that's wool. Or is this wool biscuit? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's if you were in a, a hot country and you saw it on the floor in the half day, you say it was a, a snake. So watch this. If I go like this now and I pick it up and I, then I go like this with the head of it and go like that, what kind of snake? It's a cobra. It's a cobra. And not really a cobra. A cobra. And a cobra, watch this, a cobra don't just come up and bite you. What does it do? It comes. It like dances, moves around, then like this, yes? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now this, who would be wearing a cobra? Not me. The boy. Who would be wearing, what's this? Who would be wearing a cobra? The Egyptian, the who? The kings. They used to call this in Greek the Uraeus or the Arat. And they call it the defender. It represents the left brain, the time-bound brain, doing things at the right time. Time can be your best defense. Does this make sense? Yes. But watch this, they call this power dressing. The tie is supposed to go from your throat to this point here by your navel. Because this point, it, it controls, the energies there control your genitals and pass down to the next generation the knowledge you get. But how do you wear it now? Or crunch up like this? In some schools? Like that one. Like that one there. I hate ties like that. It's what? The fact... It is better. You, that means that you don't know. Is that your, whose ties? Is that yours? Thank you. So you see the things from history that you're using today that you wouldn't even know. So what's this? You come and stand with me. I'm even scanning the way you're dressed. Because what's this? Girls, you don't have to wear schools, uh, wear ties after you leave school. You don't have power dressing. 
And when you go to try and get a job in the workplace, you might get hit with a thing called sexism. Does this make sense? Yeah. That's why you all have to be twice as sharp as many people about how to... You have to get and time what you're doing very well. Yes, ma'am? Whenever you say we get paid to go to school, do you yep. mean like when we get like child taxes, we get paid in that way? You get, you get your money from the government when you're born, yeah. which you're supposed to get to and start <coughs> investing and whatever. But what I'm saying is that in a kind of metaphorical, it means it's not literally there. But when you're getting your learning, that's your payment. So your teachers, in actual fact, they're like bank, bank tellers, you know, giving you money. Oh. And watch this, when you go into the classroom, your exercise book is a bank book. And the kind of bank you're supposed to be using is called your memory bank. So they're putting the money in your memory bank and they're actually building you up that way. But I'm afraid certain people don't see it that way. Watch this, person B's going to come in, they're going to do the same thing, they'll have a sense of status. Me, I'm lucky, like I said, I stand here, I've got about 8,000 years of history, I can walk up like this. I understand, for instance, do you know why your blazers are the way they are, the way they, they fasten like this? Do you know why? Because they look smart. No, watch this, it's buttoned over this way, so to allow the men with their right hand to go in and draw their things, their guns, or their swords. Did you not know this one? Girls are opposite way, so their left hand is free. Why? Why? What if you're right-handed? No, 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 it's not about that. It's all about the way the brain is wired up. It's all about the brain and what they say the brain. Women think generally more with the right brain, men with the left brain. That's not a, that's not the, uh, the general thing, but it's all about culture and history and how people use things. So we get an interface here. I'll show you this in a, just before we finish, but watch this now. I'll see, see about this. The importance of history. This guy often says, he says, self-knowledge for an individual as well as a nation begins with history. You have the history for, for instance, you guys who are dressed in red, I love it because obviously you support the best football team in the country called Manchester United. No! Yes! No! no. You, what do you mean? Excuse me. Can I just say, all I have to do, jump to history. We've won the Premiership 11 times. Just because of Name it. <laughs> Sorry, which sad underling team do you support? Oh, sorry, it's Arsenal. Arsenal! Yeah. Yeah. Just let me explain this to you. Let me explain this to you. We have a team called Ars... No, they have, they have a manager called Arsene Wenger, and then they've got another player called Ars Charvin, right? So there's just a load of arses going down there. That's ah. In fact, we don't call them the Gunners, we call them the Bombers. But let's move on. <laughs> All I can do is use history and evidence to say Manchester United are clearly the most successful football team in Britain. Do not swear. Do not swear. That was highly offensive. What's wrong with you? You, you look a bit like Gerard as well. You better be careful. I'm not, going to, this, I'm, not going, I'm not going to any pubs with you after a game. Because obviously you insult somebody. So we have to deal with that one. So watch this now. Have you watched this kind of film before? No. Have you seen those kind of films? Yeah. Yeah. What about this film? Have you seen this? Yeah. 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 What about this one? Yeah. 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 Okay, what about these films? What about these two? Yeah. What about these two? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Okay, what about these two? Yeah. 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 Okay, what about these two? Yeah. What about these ones? What about these ones here? No. 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 See that one? Okay, what about this? Okay, well, let's look at these ones. Yeah. 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 See, as soon as he gets the, as soon as he gets the award, no. you hear the gaggle. Yeah. Sexy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy is here. Yeah. No. no. Okay, what about, the, what about these? This one? No. I've seen the room. Okay, what about this one? Yeah. Okay, what about these? Yeah. Okay, what about these here? What about this one? Okay, now, what am, I, what am I actually showing you those for? All of those are history films. What about Ruth? What about Ruth? history films. Sorry? Ruth. Well, Ruth, yeah, I've got that another presentation. But yeah, I'm saying that all these are history films, though. 
In fact, we went back to the time of Troy. 